Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. It's Saint We Got Fun. Today I wanted to briefly review the woodshop build and play kit for the pirate ship. When I hauled this, I said it had glue. One of these types of kits I had bought some time ago for a little bird feeder at Dollar Tree did come with a small tube of glue and this did not. So if you buy these, you want to make sure you have some glue. Um, we happen to have some for a different project. This Elmer's Carpenter's wood glue. I'm not sure if you can use other types. I'm assuming you can, but this is what we have. And it was pretty straightforward. My nephew is 10 years old right now, and he was able to do the majority of the steps, but I had to do the more complex parts. So the first thing we did was make sure all the parts were there, kind of like how you do for Legos, so that you can go back to the store right away and let them know if something's missing. And one of the parts that I will show was defective, but I was able to fix it. I didn't have the receipt anymore, so I didn't want to have to deal with that. And the part that I had to do was gluing the sails on, and that was a pain. They didn't want to stick on. And my nephew decided to put these flags up at the top of the uh, mats. I think that's, those are masts, sorry. <laughs> but I think that in the picture, they just have them glued onto this string. So you can probably put it anywhere you want, do what you like. But it is a good deal for a dollar. Just make sure you have the glue. And I'll put a picture of my nephew working on it. He is using a paintbrush and this is just one of those uh, little um, paintbrushes that come with watercolor paints. You do not have to have this. Just for some parts where you don't want the glue to spread out too much, it's convenient, but if you have Q-tips or maybe like a barbecue skewer, you can use that to be a little more precise with the glue. But this is how it turned out. I don't think it's meant to be played with too aggressively, but he does enjoy kind of hanging on to it that he showed it to his grandparents. Um, yeah, it's... I think more about the process than playing with it. Like I said in my haul, I had built a, helped him build a bird feeder from the same company, I think, and it ended up falling apart when putting it outside, so maybe this glue, I don't know if we had the same glue, I think it was the glue that came with the kit, but this one says easy, easy water cleanup also, so I don't think any of this stuff is meant to get wet, even though it is a ship. But yeah, it was pretty fun. So this is the part that was defective. This piece called the stern didn't have a hole. So here's the piece that we ended up with. So it's missing the hole and it's a little uneven. I took a knife and carved a notch for the string to slide through. And you have to be careful not to get glue into that. And my nephew is using a paintbrush so he doesn't get glue into the holes there. And here it is, mostly done, we're just waiting for things to dry. And here's what my modification looks like, since there was no hole. And there's the whole thing completed. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye!